Hi, this is Matt from Fells. Today we're going to be going over the Massey Ferguson 1700 Premium Series Compact Tractor, which is a step up from the Economy Series as you see here. Uh, there's six models in the lineup ranging from 36 engine horsepower all the way up to 59. Two available transmissions, a three range hydrostatic transmission and a 12 by 12 power shuttle transmission. Let's move on to the operator's area. Here in the operator's area, we have a tilt steering wheel. You push this with your foot, and then you can position the wheel where you want, and then it'll latch into its closest position. You've got your blinkers left and right, and when you turn, it'll automatically turn off the blinker. you got low and high beams also on that. You've got your engine RPM throttle, which you can set uh, for your 540 PTO. You have independent PTOs on the Premium Series. This is how you turn them on. You push it down and over, and it'll hold in position. You have a PTO modulation switch. So if you have something hooked to your rear 540 PTO, that's a hard start, maybe like a post hole digger sitting in clay. You turn this on, and then when you turn on the PTO, it will ease the PTO on and not shock load the whole uh, powertrain system. Uh, just tap to turn off the PTO. Parking brake lever is right here. You've got your key switch right here. You've got your hydrostatic side-by-side -side pedals. Uh, your forward and reverse is the outer one. And when you push forward on the pedal, not only will it increase ground speed, but it will also automatically rev your engine RPMs for you, so you're not constantly using the hand throttle to meet your RPMs. And as we come up the side here, you've got your loader joystick built right in off your seat. Um, easy to get at, easy to do a lot of loader work with. On the side here you have a lock which will lock the joystick so if you were to want to get off this way uh, if you bump it you have a tendency not to move the loader. You got your three point up and down right here. You can use these screws if you wanted to set like a depth that you wanted to constantly or a height you wanted to constantly come to. That'll be a nice stop. Here's three slots for remotes if you wanted to add them to the rear of the tractor and then of course you have your cup holder here. And then right here we have a 12 volt power supply uh, for like a car charger for maybe a cell phone or whatnot. Now let's move over to the left hand here side. On the dashboard we have an analog tack for engine RPMs. We have in the center a digital dashboard which will give us messages, also give us fuel readings and uh, coolant readings. And as we follow down to the left hand side here we've got our four way flashers, we've got our button which will cycle through the digital message board, and then we have our engine regeneration button for when it calls for one. Following down we have our brake pedal, uh, right now they're combined together but you can flip this lever over and have split brakes so you can do tighter turning radius. Uh, set your parking brake, you push down, hit your parking brake lever and let off on the pedals and that'll stay. Push to release. Then as we come up the left hand side here we've got a servo controlled hydrostatic transmission. You can adjust the max speed when you push down the forward pedal or reverse pedal. You can also adjust how fast the pedals respond to you so if you're learning a hydro you can get used to it. You have electronic cruise control so wherever you have the pedal set you just push that button and it will continue at that speed. Say you're doing a lot of mowing or something with the tractor. Here's our three range hydrostatic lever uh, that you can select in four-wheel drive lever. When it's down, it's in four-wheel drive. When it's up, it's in two-wheel drive. Back here, this lever is for a rear 540 PTO, and if you got the optional 2000 RPM mid-mount PTO, it would go in this slot right here. These are going to select what button, or what the button on the dash turns on for PTO. So if it's in 540, just the rear would turn on. If you had the optional 2000 mid and that one on, then both PTOs would turn on. Here in the Premium Series tractor we have a more deluxe seat. It's got a wider bottom to the seat and a wider top. You have adjustable armrests. You just adjust the screw to set them to whatever level you would like. In the front you've got the adjustment for the suspension of the seat so you can fit it to the person riding it. You also have adjustment for forward and back of the seat to adjust yourself to the pedals so you fit it correctly. Down here we have a three-point uh, valve control. This is going to control how fast the three-point arms go down. Here's a rear differential lock. This will lock the rear end together so that the tires spin at the same time. We've got a isolated platform with a rubber mat on it. The rubber mat's going to not only help with vibrations but also sound dampening. Small hump in the middle, very small compared to the economy series. And as we come forward here we've got our diesel fuel tank and the easy fill right here from ground level, don't have to get up over the hood or anything like that. 
You also have steps on both sides and grab handles on both sides of the fenders to get onto the track. Here in the front of the tractor in the engine compartment, we've got easy access to our battery, our air filter, our radiator cap, radiator's there, radiator overflow fill tank. You also have your radiator screen uh, that hold, is held in with a little clip. You can pull it out and clean it. You have to raise the loader up a little bit to get it out. And then on the smaller three models of the Premium Series, you've got a Mitsubishi Tier 4 final engine, a 1.7 liter, a three-cylinder. And then when you go to the larger three, or larger three models, you have a four-cylinder, 2.2 liter engine in those. Uh, now on this side of the engine here, you can see we've got our oil fill, easy to get at. You've got our oil dipstick, a little, little trickier, but not too bad. It's yellow, easy to see. And then you got your oil filter right here. Back here on a Tier 4 final engine, you've got your uh, diesel exhaust regeneration system. You also have your diesel oxidation catalysts on this system for Tier 4 final emissions. Uh, when the soot level builds up to full, it'll show on the message board on the dash. The system's going to call for a manual regeneration, and that's that button you hit. Uh, there's a sequence to do. And then it'll do a regeneration inside this exhaust system. On the front of the loader, we have skid steer quick attach. So anything a skid steer can hook to, this should be able to hook to. You also on this side have a bucket level indicator, which is right here. Uh, this yellow part is what's going to indicate uh, when the bucket is level to the ground and when you're digging in also. Now let's head around to the loader hydraulics to go over how to remove. The loader, we've got our hydraulics. Uh, they couple in right here on the side of the tractor. They are lettered corresponding to the decal right here, so you put them on there correctly. Uh, when you go to take off the loader, you're going to flip down your stands that are built in right here, pin them in, and use the stands and the bucket edge to take pressure off your pins back here. Take those out and then you use the hydraulics to lift the red part out of the gray cradle. And then uh, back up slightly, shut off the tractor, take pressure off your hydraulic lines and then quick disconnect them. And then that's gonna be how you remove the loader. Uh, and then when we look at the loader here, you can see the pins are all, uh, have grease fittings inside of them to protect the grease fittings from getting sheared off and so that they're easy to grease. The pins are also held in place so they don't constantly turn with the loader when you're running up and down, which would wear out the pins faster. Now let's move on to the back of the machine. This is the tractor. We've got a sight glass for our rear transmission fluid. We can see where it's, the level's at. If we need to add some more, the fill spout is right here. We've got a regular drawbar on the tractor. It can be uh, pinned in or out, so it can go all the way in, all the way out, in uh, different positions to put it in there. When you want to adjust it, this little bolt here has to be loosened. And what that does is holds tension on the drawbar so that when you're going down the road and nothing's on it, it's not chattering and driving you nuts. That gets loosened and then you just pull this pin out to adjust it to the correct position you'd like it in. We've got a standard 540 PTO. It's got a PTO cover on it right now. Uh, when we come up here, we've got a standard Category 1 three-point hitch on the tractor. On the Premium Series, you have extendable lower links. You just pull this down and pull it out. So when you're backing up to an implement, if you're off a little bit, you can get those extra inches by that. They're pinned lower links to adjust them in and out. is very easy and very quick because it just pins in place versus the economy as a turnbuckle. Then when we come up here on the tractor, we've got R4 tires on it. You have R4s, which are your industrial tires. You have R1, which are ag tires and then you have your turf tires. And as we come up here, we've got our lights protected by a, a piece of steel bent around them to help things uh, move around them without breaking off. Uh, we also have a foldable ROPS bar. And then if you wanted, you can wire in, there's a little plug back here, you can wire in, and there's a harness that comes with it. Little plugs right back here, and the harness plugs into there, and you can wire in a trailer plug for the tractor. On the Massey Ferguson Premium Series, the cab version you can see here, we have one of the industry's leading biggest cabs, most spacious, easy to get in and out of. We've got double doors, both lockable. We've got breakaway mirrors that uh, if you hit something, they have a tendency to break away, so hopefully you don't break the glass. You also have side windows that open up to give you some venting if you don't want to use the air conditioning. You've got front and rear wipers on both windows, and then also your back window vents wide open for you.
Up here we have light controls for our front and rear roof line lights. We've got controls for our wipers front and rear with squirters. We've got a light right here for when you're running at night so you can see the controls. Over here we have our heat and air controls. Here we've got a blank for a radio. The cab is wired with speakers and set up to hook into a radio. You just have to buy the radio optional. Thanks for watching our video on the Massey Ferguson 1700 Series Premium Compact Tractor. Stop into Bells for more details.